The Chicago Bears in the city of Chicago are in the midst of a business quarrel and the city is doing everything in its power to keep the team from leaving. And by leave, I mean build a new stadium and no longer play at Soldier Field. Now this week, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot released a renovation wish list to try and keep the Bears in town. Millions, maybe even billions of dollars to upgrade the stadium and surrounding campus. That included possibly even adding a dome over the field. I've been a Bears fan my entire life. I was four years old when they won their only Super Bowl back in 1985. I remember I had the Super Bowl shuffle song on a mini record. I'd play it over and over. We're not here to so stop no trouble. We're just here to do the Super Bowl shovel. When I first heard the report last year, the team potentially building a bigger, more modern stadium in Arlington Heights, a suburb 40 minutes northwest of the city, there were mixed emotions. I mean, we're talking about Soldier Field. The oldest NFL stadium, it opened almost 100 years ago, but the Bears have only played in it since 1971. There's nostalgia. It's iconic. Some of the greatest football players ever called that stadium home. It's overflowing with Bears history, even if that history has more losing than winning. On the other hand, Soldier Field is also the smallest NFL stadium, 61,500 seats, the exact same size as Jack Trice Stadium. Soldier is old. Parking is terrible. I've been there. Lines are long. Tailgating, subpar. Location, although somewhat scenic on the lake, sucks for fans. It's hard to say goodbye to an iconic landmark like Soldier Field, but let's face it, that decision was made about 20 years ago by the city when they turned it into a spaceship, and it was actually stripped of its National Historic Landmark status. It pains me to say, but bring on Arlington Heights. And if the team ever starts winning consistently, it really won't matter where the games are played.